Okay, um, just wanna, I just want to make a quick video about something that I see time and time again. Uh, it seems pretty obvious, but what you want to do when you're playing guitar is use your fingers. Okay, so this is a finger. You've probably seen one of these before. Um, so the fingertip, and we have the distal joint, phalangeal joint, and the metacarpal joint. And if I measure using metric from the knuckle to the fingertip, um, it's 10 centimeters. And I want to use that full finger when I'm playing guitar. Unfortunately, what I see time and time again for some reason is people insist on anchoring the phalangeal joint here to the edge of the fretboard. And that means that they have about five centimeters worth of finger to use. So they're impeding themselves, they're, they're rich by 50%. Um, and you might think that's normal and that might help your guitar playing, but why don't you try running around for an hour on your knees and see if that, if that helps you get a bounce. It's the equivalent of what you're doing here. Well, the students anchor the phalangeal joint there, the second joint, on the edge of the fretboard. They drop their wrist below the neck so that when they're playing, if they reach across the fretboard with the index, they're flat-footed. Uh, they probably can't reach beyond the A string. They're either part barring or fretting adjacent notes and they have poorly positioned and probably locked up the rest of their fingers so they end up playing flat footed and padding away on the fretboard. What we want to do is simply hang the guitar off the thumb, bring the wrist forward so that the knuckle and metacarpal joint sits roughly parallel to the edge of the fretboard. Square your fingers up so they uh, describe a line of any string that you might be playing and get up on the fingertips.